so welcome back to another training vlog uh, this one's basically just going to be a mixture of kind of some of the early running sessions um, and then some just kind of volume squat sessions so obviously this is all leading towards the goal of running a five minute mile and doing a 500 pound back squat in the same day uh, so these are terrible running technique videos so if you're trying to learn how to sprint well uh, don't use these as a reference point so this is just kind of general warm-up stuff I usually run like two or three four hundred meters just to get warm then do some heel flicks and high knees uh, so this was the last of the 50 meter sessions I was doing and these are on like a slight uphill I've no idea what the angle is um, but it's probably like 10 or 15 degrees of an angle maybe uphill uh, I think on this session I did eight repeats because this is kind of getting towards the end of the that particular block so like the 50 meter block uh, there's almost no rest in between so I'm usually just doing the 50 meter sprint slightly uphill I'll turn around and jog back and um, so these sessions are actually quite short the yeah the running technique is absolutely terrible <laughs> Uh, which is kind of depressing to look at but it's good times are going down uh, I'm at 100 meters now so these are still just the 50 meter uphills from last week in terms of like the height of the hill that you're running on uh, and the incline it's really important if you're wanting to like kind of gain better running mechanics that like you're not sprinting up these really steep hills uh, and the same for the kind of over speed work that you're not uh, you're not sprinting down hills that are too steep so you want it to be when you go on to flat ground that you have something fairly similar in terms of a running technique yeah and then this is just me walking back so by the end of these kind of uphill repeat sessions uh i'm fairly fatigued or very fatigued actually and um, as you can see here i'm absolutely shagged yeah the comparison I'm making between watching myself running on these videos is like watching a prop who's had six months of an off season. Uh, so this is in the gym now. These are general training videos, so uh, all my kind of lifting or resistance training at the moment is revolving around the squat. Uh, because the squat's so far away, I'm just keeping it kind of very, very general. So plenty of like kind of bodybuilding. I'm doing some power cleans maybe twice a week just because I like doing power cleans uh, and then I'm squatting as well. In terms of what I'm doing for the squats, at the moment most of the squats are like high volume uh, and like high volume to me is like sets of 10 or 12 maybe at like I think the most I've gone up to this week is 120 for a few sets of 10. Um, which is alright because I was extremely detrained before this um, and as you can see here like I'm starting most of my sessions with some sort of accessory work uh, just because it's it gets me warmed up um, and also it's a lot more efficient in terms of time use so rather than spending ages on a squat warm up I can just actually raise my body temperature by doing my accessory work and then after my accessory work is done I've kind of gotten a lot of that those effects will warm up I need, so it increase my core body temperature and increase blood flow, and then obviously just doing some like specific warm ups after that. I think that's something a lot of people could uh, take from this is that you know if you're looking to be efficient with your warm ups and things like that, that just get your, some of your accessory work out of the way while you're warming up, and um, it'll have a lot of good effects. So you'll see those chairs behind me, that's actually for the guy I'm training with. And so he's doing like squats to a box. Okay, so I think in this session I went to 130 for some fives. Uh, more for my own sanity than anything else. I think that was a three. More for my own sanity than anything else. Uh, just so I'm not constantly doing volume. Okay guys, that's been another training vlog. Kind of an update on where I am at the moment. Uh, Thanks for watching, let us know what you think in the comments.